Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 in Battle for Azeroth and today we're with Montu and my Fury Warrior in Voldoon to continue playthrough of Voldoon. We are north of the Temple of Akunda here in the ruins. Look, there's a flight path right here, the Scorched Sands outpost in Voldoon. And we're in the ruins right here with our Vulpiria and Sethrek friends and some of our newly rediscovered and continuing with us friends and we no have some quests Jewel Waba has seeking se seeking shelter I must head back to the arena Razgadji will want to know what happened here if you seek shelter you'll find it at the outpost not too far from here oh that'll be where the uh, flight path is won't it I will let our leader know you're coming be safe Montu Find Razgadji at the Scorch Sands outpost. That's definitely where we saw the flight path. And Serik has the Are quest Unlikely me? Allies. I believe this is one of the Keeper's keys. Only Vorik would know for sure. We need to head to the temple at once. My Pterodax can take us there when you're ready. But we need to hurry. Fly to the Sanctuary of the Devoted. We mm. do what we must. So, do we follow her to the outpost or do we take the... Let's take the Pterodax. We can always come back to the outpost. Let's take the Pterodax. So Our we're going with the snake. Is the last Ooh. against the Faithless. Long ago, we lived as one. As our lower would have wanted. Since Korthek's betrayal, the Faithless have brought war upon these lands. He leads them in their fight, searching for the remaining keys that will allow him to break the barrier around Atul Amon and use what's within to conquer all of Zul'dazar. That sounds we bad. Do whatever it takes to stop him. Yeah, stopping him sounds like a good idea. Serik, it's good that you have returned. The Faithless have taken Vorik. We must remain strong. We cannot let the Faithless take this temple. If they take the temple, it sounds like they're going to get... Uh... Oh, a click to complete. It completed, but it didn't the take the page off. Okay. will not take our temple. A powerful prisoner. It appears the Faithless broke through our defences while I was away. They must be after Vorik's key. It's the only reason they would have taken him alive. Please, Montu, you must secure our leader's safe return. Find Vorik and free him from his captors. Mm. Big upgrade there on the ring for us. Will save us. a little bit laggy Come on. You break their ranks help? this temple is our last bastion against the faithless we need every able fighter to defend its walls if you're offering to help we won't turn you away head into battle and do what you can to break their ranks kill 10 faithless attackers within the temple grounds so it sounds like they're, they're short numbered they've not got many people to fight for them push them back the Faithless are laying siege to our home. This isn't the first time they've attacked. Nor will it be the last. But we must protect the temple. Do whatever you can to disrupt their siege and push them back. Disrupt the Faithless assault on the Sanctuary of the Devoted. So it sounds like they've been under siege for a really long time and they're very short of people to, to defend. Um, and they just can't keep going. There's another quest here. Where's, uh, where's oh, it's on the wall. It's a scroll. Wanted Sand Scout Vesseric. He's a snaky, he's a white snaky. To any and all who wish to see the Faithless Empire fall. Sand Scout Vesseric was spotted patrolling the dunes to the east. Gather a formidable force and strike him down. Those who succeed will be granted a fitting reward. Find and kill Sand Scout Vesseric. Suggested players five. Oh, most of the suggested player quest for multiples of the three this one's for five so he's a big bad 
Okay, let's go start the fighting at the temple. We won't do the sand scout just yet. Let's do the temple first. And there's a rare spawn here somewhere as well. Yes, definitely a laggy. Yes, it's not responding very well today. Wow, that's... Uh, Hmm. Right, we've got another quest here on the floor. A lost flute. This little flute, while dusty, appears to be well cared for. The owner can't be too far away. Find the owner of the desert flute. Okay. Right, so that's one of the spires. There's another spire down here. Let's go get that, shall we? And there's a sentry here. Oh gosh, that's a very laggy, isn't it? Look at the delay on that. Hmm. Very bad lag. I wonder why we've got the lag today. We've not been having trouble with lag for a long time. And suddenly we're all laggy. Oh no, I want no video. Come on, no lag. We will defeat you, even if we are hit and besieged by lag. I don't wonder why we've got lag. Right, Ooh, 1,481 home, 1,378 world. Wow, that's not good. We can persevere. We will not give in. We will defeat the besieging Sephirat against the enemy and against lads. We will fight. <laughs> oh, we did. Is it? That's it. No, no. It's all saying bad. Oh, well. Ooh. Bad guys and cannons and right. So we've got the spires that we need. Wow, these guys are tough because look at how much I'm hitting them and their health. It's staying high for a long time. Right, let's get this cannon. That's a nice design for cannons. I like it. Right, let's see. We need to burn three more banners, destroy one more cannon and just two more bad guys. So we're going to get the bad guys much before... We finish all the other objectives. So we'll head back up the stairs. I'll head back up these stairs because I think most of the quest stuff is more up though it is it does extend down this bottom section but I think most of it's up at the top so maybe that's where the rest of the cannons are uh, oh look banners yes we need banners and there's the cannons look at that perfect so we'll take out this guy riding his bug See these bug creatures, these sand dwellers, they look like a bit like giant wood lice to me. Is that just me or is there other people see that as well? They're probably designed around the sort of fossil designs of like trilobites and things, like the ancient prehistoric. You can't do that. Okay, this is the lag. I need to be a little bit more patient, don't I? Because the it's a little bit laggy, so I need to be a bit more patient. Right, there's a guy to free... So these are cages, but there's nobody in them. We did, they did ask us to free Vorik, didn't they? Because they're worried about the bad guys trying to get his keys. Oh, there's another bad guy. And I think the rare spawn might be up this little set of stairs here. Because if you look at the map, we seem to be right on top of it, and I don't see him, so... 
That's the only place I can see to go in that direction. I need to target something first. Yes, here we go. And he's riding on those Trillabite wood lice mounts as well. Oh, lag against a bad guy. Not, probably not a good one. Yes, we're uh, severely lagged here. Yes, we're not going to be able to see his ground effects. So look. So the lightning thing, I'm sure that's not a good thing to stand in. But we're a bit laggy, so I might not be able to uh, avoid it. Let's see what happens. I think we might be in trouble. So we need to move every time he tries to cast something. And, uh, uh, can I, um... I must get closer. Too far away. No, I'm gonna die. No, I don't want to die. Run! Yes, the lag certainly didn't help us. That I think we might have been okay if we weren't lagged out, but because of the lag, we couldn't. Um, Come on, get out of combat. Come on, get out of combat. Wow, he's not going to chase me all the way up the pyramid, is he? Wow, it's not dropping combat. That is a long way to run for it to not drop combat. Wow. Still didn't drop a combat? Oh, we not drop combat. Ah, finally. Right, so let's get our health back. Oh, did somebody come in and finish it off? No, they didn't. Right, so what are we missing? I think we could have um, killed him if we weren't lagging so badly, but because of the lag it was really hard to see. He'd cast things before we even saw them, so we couldn't do anything about it. Oh, we're not herbalist. That's our reliance person that's herbalist, isn't it? Is this the uh, Vorik? There's Vorik. So if we get him out of this cage... Hello, Vorik. That's it, get back into the temple. So, should we have another go or not? We might get ourselves killed, to be honest, if we have another go, but uh, because of the lag. The lag's gone down slightly, but it's not its not good, so the uh, the lag isn't helpful. really played the Fury Warrior very much. I'm not 100% sure what we do have as uh, abilities to prevent in casting stuff. I am out of range. You cannot stop the so it is possible, even but even for someone like me who doesn't really know how to play the spec, it is completely possible to beat that guy. <laughs> But of course, that's not the guy for the five-man quest. That's this guy here. But we're not we're not going to attempt that on our own, especially on a very laggy day. We'll have to try and find some people to help us with that one, I think. But we won't worry about that right now. Oh, look, there's a flight path. Let's grab that. And let's turn in these quests and see what they have to say now. There's one over here. Let's go turn this one in, and then the other guy seems to be in the front of the pyramid here. Cortex, this is the 
Our temple will not fall at the hands of the faithless. Well, we'll try not to let it happen. The faithless will never stop their siege, but your efforts have bought us time. Oh, and there's the uh, pet battle guy when uh, it's time for the world quests. You've got some um, vendors around there. There's an innkeeper just there. That's the turning for that five person quest over there. Vorik. I owe you my life, Mantu. Glad we could help. And that ring is a bigger upgrade than. Both of those items would be an upgrade for us, but the ring is the bigger upgrade. The Keeper's Keys. Serik mentioned you might have uncovered something of significance at Zulajun. We don't have much time, I'm afraid. What is it you found? Speak to Vorik and uncover the significance of Sulthis's stone. We will never give up. That's what we did last episode. Are you here to help? Give Vorik Sulthis's stone. This key belongs to the first keeper. His name was Sulthis, and he died at the hands of Korthek. Long ago, Mithrax the Unraveler descended upon our lands. He slaughtered all in his path, Troll and Sethrak alike. He definitely looks like a minion Our of the old gods. Sacrificed herself to save us oh no, the lower died. She struck the Cathrax down, Cathrax. but not before it was able to destroy the disc at the heart of Atulaman. After witnessing his destruction firsthand, we knew that something must be done to prevent anyone from raising Mithrax again. Although immensely powerful, Sulfis could not create the barrier alone. Korthek and I lent him our aid, and together we sealed Mithrax within the Great Pyramid. Well done, guys. As the sands continued to spread, Korthek grew hungry for war. He plotted to unearth the Kithrax and use him as a weapon to conquer the continent. That's not good. This must be what Jack Rosette is after. A Kithrax. We need to warn the princess. Korthek raised an army of like-minded Sethrak and they began to slaughter those who opposed them. Sothis was the first to fall, but not before safeguarding his key. Those of us still loyal to Sethralis were forced out of our home and into hiding. We have been fighting the Faithless ever since. Ooh, so they've been fighting forever, and so the Cathrax, who presumably work, it was working for one of the old gods, came to try and destroy everybody. Oh, they managed to lock him away, and now the bad guys are trying to get him out again to destroy everything. <sighs> when will people learn that getting the bad guy, the, getting the powerful bad guys out is not going to get you what you want? It's just going to get the powerful bad guy to come out and do whatever he wanted to do in the first place. And their lower's dead, so she can't protect them in this time around. So it's up to us without, without the lower to rely on. Oh dear, the keeper's keys. Thanks to you, we now have two of the keys. Corthex still holds the third. If we can get our hands on that key, then Mithrax will remain sealed in his tomb forever. Sadly, this is World of Warcraft, and we know that Mithrax is coming out regardless because we've seen other people get to that point ahead of us. But even from just doing the quest, we know that the bad guy's going to get out because that's what the story's leading to. The bad guy's going to get the, the big evil Cathraxi out, and then we're going to have to fight the big evil Cathraxi as well as the bad guy. <gasps> no! One day we'll have um, a peaceful, sleepy day, and we'll have little pretty quests with fishing and pet battles and flower picking and now nah, that bit's too boring let's go fight <laughs> the missing key Corfec has grown spiteful and arrogant over the years but I realize now that he has grown mad as well Mithrax will kill all of us if he's released that's what I said 
For too long I've held out hope that I could convince Corthek peacefully to abandon his heresy. I was wrong. All of Zandalar is at risk, while Corthek and his allies hold even one key to Mithrax's prison. Meet me outside his fortress in the north. We will confront my old friend, Emperor Corthek, and end this together. So Corthek styled himself Emperor. Meet Vorik at Bwolgin's fall. And we will attack the, the bad guys. Corthek has gone too far. I must deal with this personally. Protect the keys while I am away. We will defend your people as our own. Meet me at Bwolgin's fall as soon as you can, champion. We shall sneak into Corthek's fortress together. So my troll friends are going to stay here and help the snakes to protect the keys. We must find the weapon before Jack Rosette can get his hands on it. Zandala. I think we're too late already, guys. We will oppose Jack Rosette for the traitor he is. He is a traitor. He's after power and um, that always leads to bad things happening, doesn't it? Because we've seen it in the past and uh, I'm sure we'll see it again in the future. Alright, so we're at the top of the big temple. So now we have two choices. We can go well and go and find the flute. Where's the flute? That's a good point. We've got to find the flute as well. So we've got three things. So there was the there we were told to go to this place. The snake guy wants us to meet him here to attack the enemy. And we've got to find the person. Let's go find this lost flute person and see where they are and see if that goes anywhere and that I think will be the end of today's episode before we run too long and then we've got a choice of which way to go in the quest chamber let's go try and find the flute first who is this flute person and what significance do they hold so the flute person seems to be down this way so we're being sent towards the cracked coast And the crazy plants again. Is this right? Oh yes, this is right. This is the person. So, so Geno. It's another Vulpira look with a pretty hyena. Geno. What did you bring me? A lost flute. My flute! I've been looking everywhere. Well, sort of. So I think we will continue with the quests here for Jenna in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed finding the Temple of the Sethrak for the Snaky People's quest chains. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!